Hi everyone, my name is Rodolphe de Villers. I'm graduate officer at the Department of Geography at Memorial University. As a grad officer, one of my duties is to lead a committee that reviews applications from candidates like you that want to join our grad program. One of the elements you will have to submit when applying to grad school is called a statement of interest. Depending on the grad school, this is sometimes called statement of purpose, statement of intent, research statement, and so on. In short, a statement of interest is a text that explains why you are applying to this specific program and what makes you a good candidate for it. It can capture information about your past experiences like earlier studies, maybe past employment related to this field, publications you authored related to the program, extracurricular activities of interest, etc. It should also capture information about your interest in this field, maybe even how the program will help you reach your career goals. Don't be afraid to be specific when discussing some of those points. Writing this text is probably the most challenging part of your application. So here are three tips to help you write this text and submit a stronger application. First, customize your statement to this specific application. Many of you will apply to many graduate programs, and that's fine. You have to find a program that meets your needs. Submitting an application to grad school can be very easy, yes? Few clicks on the website, copy-pasting some text, uploading documents, done! Mistake. Probably the most classic mistake, actually. Resist the temptation to recycle too much material from a statement of interest from one application to another. Each statement should be carefully crafted for each specific application. People reviewing your application will be interested in knowing why you're interested in this specific program or this specific university. This requires you to understand the details of the program and university. So do your homework. Look at the program website to get some details about courses, instructors. Look at the details on the university. And maybe this program is unique in its focus or structure. Maybe the program offers courses more relevant than other similar programs. Maybe it allows you to access specific resources or equipment. Maybe students that graduated from this program have careers you're interested in. Or maybe the ability to work with specific professors on specific projects is what draws you to this program. Be specific. Don't be afraid to say you're interested in working on this subdiscipline or with Professor X. No, not Professor Xavier from X-Men, unfortunately. Second, write a statement as Goldilocks would. Do you know Goldilocks? The blonde girl that answers a house of three bears in the forest? Well, if you don't know the story, I'll let you Google it. Well, Goldilocks likes what is just right. She likes a chair not too big, not too small, a bed not too soft, not too hard. And this is exactly how your statement should be, just right. In terms of length, for instance, don't make it too short or too long. Unless required by a specific program, aim for something around 600 to 1000 words. A shorter statement may not allow you to express many ideas, but a longer statement may lose the attention of your reader and go in unnecessary details. Same thing for the level of detail about your specific interest. It has to be just right. Avoid vague statement like, I want to apply to your program due to its very good reputation, or I want to find a program that can challenge me intellectually. This may be true, but it doesn't really explain why you want to apply to this specific program or how this will help you meet longer career goals. A statement too vague can suggest a lack of focus, but being too specific can also in some cases be an issue. Let's say, for instance, you only want to work on a very specific research project. People reviewing it could think this program is not the best fit for that, or that nobody is currently available to supervise you on this. So show focus, but also some flexibility. Also, if you're applying to a program with a research project, please do not use this space to copy-paste your 20-page research proposal. Summarize your key points here. Generally, try to find the right balance between the too general and the too specific. Third, check your writing. Of course, I assume you will put your best effort in writing this text. You think the committee will only read your text to understand your motivation? Big mistake. Here is a little secret for you. This text is also seen as a sample of your writing skills. And writing skills are really important at the graduate level. So, did you forget a few typos in your text? Are your sentences clear? Is your grammar correct? Are your arguments well organized in the text? All of those things are important. 
a poorly written text can really decrease your chances of being admitted, even if the rest of your file is very strong. So write your text carefully, proof it, and get other people to review it before you submit your application. That's it. If you follow those simple tips, you will already be ahead of many other candidates. Good luck with your application and I look forward to maybe meeting you in person on the Memorial Campus in the future.